Oh, good morning, my little sweet pea. I hope you slept well last night. Look, I know that this transition must be difficult for you. One minute you're all by yourself, with nobody to care for you, or love you, or cook for you. And now you have me. I'm sure you must be overwhelmed. Goodness knows I'd be. But you have no reason to worry or fret ever again. I'll take care of you. I made you some breakfast. I made strawberry shortcake. Of course, since I made it in my kitchen, it's probably more like strawberry, your exact type cake. <laughs> now, it's all right if you can't finish all of it, but I want you to grow big and strong, and that comes with eating everything on your plate. So you better start now. <laughs> oh, of course, how could I forget? You have to get dressed first. You can't wear your pajamas all day. That's silly. Pajamas are for dreaming. Here, I took the time last night to sew a little something something for you. Well, of course it's a dress. Dresses are way easier to sew than pants are. Do you know how much extra cutting and sewing I'd have to do to make pants? Seems like a waste of good fabric to me. Try it on! Oh, or even better. I can help you put it on. There. Oh, you look so darling, my dear. You look like a real doll. Which is pretty fitting, considering you're living in an old doll house. Oh, fitting. Clothes. Do you get it? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, if you really want some pants. Who am I to deny you? You're being such a baby about it. And after all the work I put in. Of course, you are my baby, so maybe that's as fitting as the dress. Now, you can go eat your strawberry shortcake, but it's not like it's gonna get cold. What do you want to do today? You don't seem exactly keen about dress-up, which is a shame, but... What else? You want to dance? You want to color? What in the world would you like to do today, darling? Go outside. Hmm. Um, it, it, it's nothing, but... You do hear yourself, right? Go outside? Why, you're... Look at yourself! You're sloppy, underdressed, immature, clumsy. They'll eat you up alive out there! Tear you from limb and limb! I couldn't take care of you, or, or protect you, or anything of the sort! Bad things could happen! And bad things would happen! And I, I couldn't do anything! You could get hurt! And worse, I couldn't do anything about it! And... And you'd be willing to put me through that. I want to feed you. I want to hold you. I want to wash you and hug you and kiss you and keep you safe and you want to run away? How could you? You're making it sound like I'm keeping you here. Like I'm the bad guy. Well, to put it plainly, I don't like being the bad guy. But if I'm such a bad guy for when to keep you safe, then I can be the make your mama sad type. Is that what you want? <sighs> I don't think I'm even making sense anymore. Please, do not put me in this position ever again. Do not ask to go outside ever again. I'm willing to give you anything you want. All I'm asking for is you. I'm not asking for you to love me or like being here or even pretend that you do, but I can't live without you, my dear, my sweetheart, my Mia Mora, my baby. Please. 
<sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to sour such a sweet shade with the conversation at hand, but it needed to be said. Now, I was thinking to raise spirits around here. We could play a little dress up. I have some doll clothes that are just to die for and you'd look so freaking cute. We gotta try it.